Let's dive into the review of the Attack on Titan timeline. Starting off, we're going to start off with the Titan War that begins uh, 2-4-C. Um, basically, a plague broke out the entire world, but the other empire was basically unaffected due to the power of the Founding Titan that kind of altered their body. Um, it started with the Great Titan War following after that and the control of the Fifth Titan rising to power as the monarch, inheriting the power of the Founding Titan. And then along other in mean, the course of time, the Elden history that dealt with a lot of genocide and civil war and uh, the Prince monarch empire conspiring against the two real family who had never destined the warhammer titan and about assumed that light eventually led to their downfall and then the toba fan made this story of a fabrication of a man named marlin who became like the guest their hero to oppress the people of marley and i think overall after that while the Royal family of the Fritz were moved to Paradise Island where they kind of made an undisputed territory and then kind of had a lot of conflict between the eight other house titans. Um, eventually other clans were invited, you know, and then they come to a whole disagreement with the king's decision to abandon the war and remain behind the mainland and in the king's absence, the eight other houses uh, waged civil war. The surviving uh, Marlin took advantage of this and incited a rebellion. Um, you know, the Turbo family first sided with the Marlin uprising, of course, over the years of the war. The Marlins succeeded gaining power of the six more powerful titans of the nine, that I mean the Claw Titan, the Arm Titan, the Female Titan, and the Beast Titan, the Cart Titan, and the Jaw Titan. Using the seven titans, Marley gradually gained control over the continent, and King Fred uses the Fountain Titan to create other countless, uh, and to order count, uh, Claw Titans to form these center walls of the Tacatai of Rena, which are known as the Wall of Maria, Mala Rose, and Marlacena, to protect their, their remnants of Elan. And I think you know, that has to do with that potentially, you know, kind of, you know, as, as war does create propaganda. And then when the Great Titan War ended, the nation wide would train control of a large portion of the world beyond Paradise Island throughout the next century, using the power of the Titans to hence the rotation and, you know, try to create this lie over the years that, the, you know, the Titans were gone, everyone was safe in sound. But that wasn't always the case. Um, the king uses the power of the Fountain Titan to erase the memories of. Uh, the subjects of Yumira and the and I, I'll get into her a little bit a little, a little bit later in the review, but um with the power of the Fountain to erase memories, um it, they always put out the history, but also many of the minority groups not sharing the main compound, such as the Ackerman clan, um, are unaffected by the Miami wife. Many of the minority groups were secrecy at their king's request to gain nobility status, but the Ackermans it, gave other status and turned against King Fritz and were basically hunted down. Now, for the safekeeping of the Fout and Titan, the royal family lived in hiding as the noble Ritz family, while another bloodline took the place of the Fritz family as a false monarchy. And, you know, with the first uh, Fritz king, the false king, and the first Ritz king created an underground cavern where the Fountain Titan could be passed down by successors with the royal family and sometimes after that they built like a entrance to the, to the cavern and you know according to the entire history um in taught in paradise island this is where the entire human race have for the inhabitants of the island were devoured by the titans now now jumping back to the person i mentioned earlier the marley uh, the operation of the nature of the titans and the subjects of yumira they determined that the power titans carry out across path invisible to the eye of all paths according to the fouling titan the people of marley named the fouling titan the coordinates of these pets and then there's a homeless girl named beyond the wall who's given the name Ymir by the leader of the cult that takes her and you know makes their the leader of the cult and hence her people become the subjects of Ymir as becoming a main figure of worship and you know when you think of Ymir you think of what she's gone through she's possessing this power and you think oh this is gonna be lovely no that was not the case um there was an incident between Lawson and um he like they discovered like what was below the ground where the walls out were after discussing that you know the miner kind of disappeared and his friends kind of disappeared after all his entries because they wanted to get the entries hidden and eventually the subject of mirror were found later in 1785 and they were led top the wall where they were all turned to pure mindless titans wandering in the wilderness and um then you have years later around 824 bc the gisha jagger this is Aaron's father. Growing up, he joins the Restorers after finding the truth of his sister's death. He meets Diana Fritz, the last member of the Fritz bloodline and Marley, after receiving the propaganda from the Owl, an England spy that they must make plans to retrieve the Fountain Titan from the Paradise Isle in order to retrieve the nation. You know, and then 
Zagir is born to Grisha and Dina. I'm gonna find Grisha is not Aaron's father. I missed it up. I'm sorry. And then Grish Jagger cured a designated plague in a certain district when he's growing up. And then you're introduced to Mikasa, Ackerman, born to her mother and father, the latter being the last members of the Ackerman clan besides Levi Ackerman. And then Aaron Jagger is born to uh, Grisha as he gets older, uh, you know, um, into Carl Jagger. And then that creates a new badge of wars to inherit the new titan's power. Now, when you think about the new titan power, you have to think there are nine of them. So you can think seven of these nine, these new generations are going to get these powers. Oh, wait, we're not done yet. After we're induced, like, the Ackerman clan, and, you know, we're also introduced about the new worn titan, like, soldiers, um, we are introduced to, um, the Ackerman, the main Ackerman clan, um, you're given more notice to Blue Eyes' backstory and Mikasa's backstory and Kenny as well, and how they kind of intercede in the Titan timeline. But along with, you know, Aaron's father, I'd like to say he's also played a pinnacle role in this. Um, as for poor Mikasa, her childhood is awful. But going back to Levi, um, he literally watches his mother die from starvation. And, you know, Uncle Kenny comes to, to save him, and he kind of grows up in this underground world, you know, using like the, 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 the gears to that they use to fight titans to carry them in the air um and they're given like this incredible file of love of business with lane coming to kill erwin smith who carries the files and you know erwin and kyle is led by the underground officer him departing his crime to join his scout regiment and then commander keith shade decides to invocate erwin smith to her sky animation you know to kill the abnormal titan and you know how kind well, Levi kind of joins the corpse to kill Titans, and then for Mikasa's case, you know, she is adopted by parents, adopted by bandits after they kill her parents, and then she's rescued by Aaron Yeager, who kills the two traffickers, and basically, you know, she's later taken in by the Yeager family, and then you have Gita Yeager, who travels, you know, to the exterior, but probably not to show his son of the secrets of his basement when he turns, and then, you know, Marley is adopted for the warriors of the nine, you have... If you haven't seen the series, please skip or fast forward this because I don't want to spoil anything for you. But if you have seen it, great. Um, so you have the four warriors. You have Beryl, Ryan, Annie, and Marshall to destroy humanity and retrieve the coordinate. Basically, the fine titan. But sadly, Marshall is eaten by Yumiya's titan and Yumiya games her humanity. And then the colossal titan breaches the outer gates of the senior district, destroying the center long piece. Within the walls, titans begin to enter the series. Um, Carl Yeager, or Aaron Yeager's mother, is eaten by a spine titan. And Rainer, as the armed arm, breaches the inner wall, forcing Rainer to retreat to wall. Rose, and then Gisha reunites with his son to inject him with a serum, which erases parts of his memory while also presumably giving him the air and the ability to turn into a titan. And then Gisha then mysteriously disappears. And then the Reese uh, family proposes to kill off Historia, an eliminate child, the head of the family, to clear up the matter of Harriet. But it's instead, that she decided to will to live a new life under the name Christina Lenz. And the corpse cadet, Ymir, overhears this news in the conversation between the priest and the order of the wall, and she gets begins to search for Christia, or her real name is Hysteria. Hope I'm pronouncing that right. I don't want to butcher any names here while doing this review. Then we return with Gisha Yeager traveling to, you know, the outer, outside of the wall, but not before promising his son Aaron to show him the secrets of his base when he returned. And then Marley and the four warriors set out to uh, destroy humanity and retrieve the coordinates. Um, Marshall then eaten by Ymir Titan, and Ymir begins to regain her humanity. And then the Colossus Tower breaches the outer wall, destroying the century long feud within the walls as Titans again enter the city. And then sadly, Aaron's mom is eaten by the titan and um the smiling titan that and then rainer as the armor titan breaches the inner gates forcing man to retreat behind the rose wall and then soon uh you know aaron's dad he said or dr aaron get in with the serum which erased parts of his memory while also presumably giving him the ability to turn into a titan and then he has then mysteriously disappeared and this is kind of where we start off with the first season of Attack on Titan. It's kind of where the story kind of unfolds as Aaron having this pure hatred for Titans and vowing to take vengeance on the Titan who simply killed his mother and also the Titan that kind of destroyed his long peace happy, like happiness in his village that was behind the safety of the walls. And this is where I'll start with a review. Uh, give this a thumbs up if you like a part two of the Attack on Titan timeline and let me know what you guys think. But until then, see you soon. Bye.